Okay. Are we live, guys? Are we live? Let's take a look here. All right, let's see if this works. All right, we should be live. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there, guys? Is anybody there? If you're here, please let me know. Please let me know. So then I know that I'm not just talking to myself. Hey. <laughs> Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Let me uh, let me jump on over to Fabo here and make sure that we are all good over there as well. I just woke up. Well, you're a lucky guy, Robert. Unless you stayed up all night. And then that wouldn't be as lucky. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, hi, Sean. How are you? How's it going? Uh, let's see here. We got Kylie uh, County, Rick. We got Aaron, Ben, DJ, Pablo, Tim. Uh, all right. We have all kinds of people here. What's going on? Here you find. All right, perfect. Cool. Um, all right, so we have a lot to talk about today, guys, so I would like to just go ahead and jump into it. Um, first things first, uh, we are going to do a giveaway on all three platforms because we are live on everything right now at the same time. Um, the way it's going to work is if you win the giveaway at the end of this video on either YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you will win an i5T+. Plus in the color and the emitter of your choice. So if you win, you can tell me like, hey, I want a twist pattern, blue, neutral white. And then I can say, okay, cool. This is what you're gonna get. So it's your choice um, if you if you win. So I think that's cool. I, I like to be able to do a giveaway like that. And luckily, you know, having all these different versions of the i5T Plus allows me to, to do that. So we're gonna go ahead, talk about the i5T Plus. We're going to talk about the new really cool kind of lime green color S2R Baton 2, which is available in cool white and neutral white. And then, of course, we need to talk about the Balder SBL, which has the blue laser for the first time ever. Um, so we've got a lot of really fun products for this sale. Just want to let you guys know, I typically do not go live on Thursdays, but today's a special Thursday because our sale does start on all of these products tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you see any of the stuff, um, you know, if, if you're really feeling any of the lights that I'm about to show you, just know that you'll be able to purchase them tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time unless you have early access. And if you do have early access to our website, which is a special perk that we do for people who've ordered a lot of things from us, um, for you guys, you probably have already ordered this stuff, but maybe I might show you something that you haven't ordered yet. You might want to throw in a second order, something like that. So that's where we are with that. Just a heads up, it's really great to be back with you guys. Um, if you didn't know, uh, and I talked about it before I left, but I did not go live last week because the entire uh, week last week, I was in Austin, Texas at the NSSF Marketing Summit. If you guys don't know what that is, NSSF is the company that puts on SHOT Show, which is the biggest firearms convention in the whole world ever. Um, and that's typically around the end of January every year. Hopefully I can go next year because we didn't go this past year. Um, we haven't gone since 2020. So my story of SHOT Show is I went in like the end of January 2020 and there was like 100,000 people there, and it was literally right before the whole world locked down. So, <laughs> so I went to a convention with like 100,000 people in 2020, which is like kind of crazy, but I'm really glad I was able to go. Hopefully, we can go next year. But anyways, um, they put on this big marketing summit thing where we got to see a lot of incredible speakers there. There were executives from the biggest companies in the firearm and tactical industry. I was able to meet some really big, powerful people in our industry, and it really was cool. Um, you know, being with Olight, uh, it was well received. Um, you know, I showed people products, talked with it and all that, and they seemed to really like it. Um, it was amazing. There was a lot of people there who didn't know what Olight was. So I was able to tell people about it. And um, anyways, it was a really good time. Um, there was a lot of things that I gained from it. And uh, and I'm really glad that I was able to go. But because of that, you guys haven't really seen me that much over the past like week and a half. 
I did just post my first YouTube video since I got back from that trip, and that was yesterday, and it was for a torture test on this i5T+. Plus. Um, this i5T+, Plus, I absolutely destroyed it, guys. This thing is just annihilated. Let me show this to you real quick, because this is, this is ridiculous. So here we go, um, and I'll show it to you guys on Instagram as well. Um, but just look at this light. So what I did is, uh, if you guys haven't seen the YouTube video, please do, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, beating up on this little EDC light. But basically what I did to it is I threw it in the air super high and had it slammed down on the street. Uh, I was in kind of a, a, a parking lot. And I did that many, many times. So that's how we got kind of these major scuffs here on the front bezel and then got all these scuffs here kind of on the back. And then what I did is I started throwing it up against the wall. Um, and then after that, I dragged it behind the scooter. So the scooter test is back. And that's how I got all of this road rash on it. So you can see kind of all this intense like removal of the uh, anodizing there. And then after that, I beat it with a hammer. So you can see all of these ridiculous dents. I mean, this head of this light is pretty much smushed down. Um, it's not round anymore. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I took a drill and I drilled through the head of the light. And this is what it looks like, okay? And as I showed in the video, it still turns on and you can see the light coming through that one. Look at that hole right there. Isn't that cool? Look how awesome that is. And as you can see, still works perfectly. So I was really impressed. I can't believe this light still turns on. Like it's kind of ridiculous that it still works. Um, so that should give you a true testament of the quality of the i5T plus, especially with the fact that you guys are only spending like 30 bucks on these. Here, let me show it to you while I'm talking to you guys. Let me show it to Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, I apologize. So, so I have a secondary camera that I am showing YouTube and Facebook. Um, so sometimes I'll be talking and you guys won't be able to see what I'm saying. I apologize. Unfortunately, you know, since Instagram is a phone only application, I can't use all of this cool tech that I have for YouTube and Facebook. Um, but there you go, guys. So this is that light, and I'm showing it to Instagram right now. If you guys are like, what the heck is he doing? Um, so, <laughs> so there it is. So I, I beat the crap out of this thing. I, I really did. Um, I didn't think I was going to go that hard on this, and I even mentioned it in the video. I was like, guys, this is a little EDC light. It's not the Odin. It's not the Warrior X3. Like, it's not... This isn't supposed to be this bomb proof, like super hardcore light. And I even explained that, but it still made it through all of the tests that we do to the Odin series and lights like that. So it's just good to see just how well these lights can perform when they're getting beat on. So anyways, if you drop your light, there might be a scuff on it, you know, but at least it's still going to work. That's for sure. So just keep that in mind with these i5T pluses. The quality is there 100%. I proved it. This thing is destroyed and it still works great. I mean, fantastic. So, um, all right. So let's go ahead and get into all of the different versions. So basically what we have here is we have two milling patterns on the i5T plus that you can pick from. There are only two patterns, but you have access to those two patterns with four different colors. So I'm holding up the OD green just to give you an example of the two milling patterns. So we have this kind of twist swirl and I'll show it to you here. So we have this kind of traditional twist swirl that you guys have seen on the i3T, i3T plus. This is what you guys know. Um, so the reason why we wanted to keep doing this is because a lot of you guys want it to match. If you have the i3T+, plus, if you have the i5T, then you might want to pick up this version with the swirl because it's going to match it, right? But then we also did a new pattern that we've never done before on any flashlight, and that is this pebble pattern, which I'm actually a really big fan of. 
Um, not only because it's something new and I really appreciate when we do new things, but also I think it just looks really cool. I mean, how sweet is that, guys? And it also provides some really nice grip as well. I mean, this is very grippy, but it's still smooth. So it's not going to hurt your fingers holding it. Like this doesn't hurt right now, rubbing my thumb against it. But when I get my, you know, finger in there, when I get my skin in there, it's not going to move. It kind of locks it in. So it's almost like stylized jimping. When you think about, um, it kind of reminds me of this. Like, you know, you guys have heard the term jimping, right? Um, and that way you can lock your finger in so it doesn't move when you're using the knife. Well, I would say this pebble pattern is almost like flashlight jimping. Like it really locks your fingers in when you hold it, uh, you know, with a firm grip. So that's another thing I like about it. It looks cool. It's new, something we've never done before. And it actually is usable. Like it gives you good grip on the light when you're holding it. Even if your hands are wet, anything like that, these are IPX8 rated, so they are waterproof. These are not dive lights. Don't go diving with them, but if they get wet, you're using them in the rain, you drop it in the lake and you find it, stuff like that, it'll be okay. Um, so anyway, so we have those two milling patterns, and then we have four different colors available. So we have this beautiful, just bright orange, which you guys are loving. Uh, you guys are ordering these like crazy in the Facebook group. I, I've seen people putting in orders for like all of the orange uh, lights, which is six, I believe. Yes, so there's six versions of each color, right? So there's cool white, neutral white, neutral white, warm white for the pebble. And then there's that again for the twist pattern and that is for every single color. So there's six versions of each color, which gives us 24 different configurations that you can choose from on our website during the sale. Um, so we have the bright blue, which looks gorgeous as well. I love the bright blue. As you guys know, Olight blue's our color, right? So, um, you know, very traditional to, to have that blue color. We also, of course, have the black, um, which has the blue clip on there again, very like traditional Olight style. And then of course we have the OD green, which looks really cool with the black clip. They all have the same switches. Um, they all have the same functionality. In terms of the color and the milling pattern, it is completely up to you. It doesn't change the way that the light works whatsoever. It just depends on what you like the look of. Do you like the twist? Do you like the pebble? What color do you like? And then from there, is when you start looking at the functionality of the lights because we have a cool white emitter, we have the neutral white, and we have the warm white, like what I said. The cool white is going to be, uh, here, let me, oh, that is neutral white. That is neutral white. Sorry, guys, let me find a cool white for you. Why do I have so many different emitters here? All right, cool, here's a cool white. Oh, have I even used this one yet? Nope, I haven't. Make sure that you guys remove the uh, the little insert there. So um, yeah, so the cool white, can you guys see that? Do you see how there's no tint to the light? You see that? I had these studio lights on so that you can actually see me. The, the, this live video would be super dark if I didn't do that. And they're kind of annoying to turn off. I was thinking about trying to turn the lights off during this live video, but that's just, there's like 10 lights on me right now. Um, but, uh, but you can see there, I mean, that gives you a good idea of what it looks like. There's no real tint to it. It's just a very cool, not warm white, right? So this one has a Kelvin of 5,700 to 6,700. Okay. Um, so that is the cool white version. If you want to make sure that you picked up the cool white version, it'll say CCT and it'll say 5,700 to 6,700K. Let me show that to you. Do you guys see that on the front? So it's going to be on the head of the light, and that is what's going to designate the tent of that specific version. If you're someone who's going to order, like, the same light but in a bunch of different emitters, like you want to just try it all out, then, um, you know, then you'll want to obviously take a look at what it says on the head of the light so you know which one you're grabbing when you leave the house or something like that. So the 5700 to the 6700, 
is going to be a traditional, very cool white. Now, if we go to, here we go, 4,000 to 5,000. Um, let me pull this one out as well. And they do come with batteries, but make sure that you remove the insert before you use it. So here's gonna be the neutral light. Look, you guys can even tell, like I've got all these studio lights on and I can still easily tell that this has much more of a yellowish tint than the cool white light that I just showed you. All right, so we have the neutral white here. And then we have the cool white there. Do you guys see that? I can see it really well on the camera. So there's cool white there where there's basically no yellow tint to it at all. And then we have the neutral white here, which obviously has much more of a yellowish tint. All right, so there is your difference between that. So if you want a completely white beam, go with the cool white version. If you prefer to have more of a yellowish tint to the beam to help preserve night vision to where you might be able to see things up close a little bit more clearly because they're not getting washed out from the cool white, understand, you know, then you'd want to go with the neutral white. But we do have one other version, which is the 2700 to the 3700 Kelvin. And I do want to mention that the neutral white one is 4,000 to 5,000. All right. So we've got 5,700 to 6,700 for the cool white. We have 4,000 to 5,000 for the neutral white. And then when we're moving to the super warm white, it is 2,700 to 3,700. So now I'll show that to you on the wall. And look at that. I'm really glad at how well this is showing up on the camera. Because to me, like looking at my screen right now, these are drastically different looking. And in real life, they're even more different looking than I'm showing you on the camera. So there is your warm white. So I'll go through all three of them again, and then we can move on. So here we go, go to high mode here. So here's your cool white. So just your basic white with no tint. And then we're going to jump over to the neutral white, which are getting more of a yellowish tint. And then we'll move on to the warm white, which is going to be just like straight up orange. Yeah. So they're very different. So just keep that in mind. Um, on a very basic level, that's kind of what you need to know, right? What do you want the beam to look like? What color flashlight do you like? And what milling pattern do you like? And those are the things that you have to think about when you're making your decision on the website tonight when the sale starts. I can't make this decision for you, you know? There's pros and cons to each emitter. And then there's pros and cons to the colors of the flashlight, right? Like the orange, you're not gonna lose it. But does it stand out a lot? Yeah, it does, you know? The black is going to be harder to see at night if you're looking for your flashlight, but it's a lot more like low key when you're carrying it on a regular basis. And it also matches more things, you know, same thing with the blue. You got this very vibrant blue, but then again, I mean, you know, do you want to carry this every single day? So I, I could see the black and the OD green being more of like legit everyday carry flashlights. And then these might be just for like special occasions. I know a lot of the people in the Facebook group, they will pick like the colors of things that they're carrying and have everything match. So if you're going to carry the blue version, then you're going to also carry your knife that has a blue scale. How cool is this with the Rattel? You know, like how sweet would that be? As like a little, little combo there. You know, and then you can have the uh, like one of our blue pens. You know, so so uh, there's a lot of different combinations and a lot of different things you can do. I just want to get your wheels spinning and think about what you would prefer with all these lights and then, you know, go from there. You know, we have a lot of customers who decided to heck with it. I'm just going to order all of them because they're only around 30 bucks a piece. 
And obviously from the torture test that I did, the quality is there, you know? And it's not like this is something that we've never done before. We've been making flashlights in this similar design for quite some time. We've been refining it, making it better. So you know that it's a quality product, you know? When you buy something that's brand new, there's always that reservation of like, is it good? You know, how many people have used it? How many people have reviewed it? Like, but with these, I, I mean, it's literally just a larger version of one of our most popular lights ever. The i3T and the i5T, some of those popular lights we've ever made. And this is literally just a bigger version of it. But then we did a lot more with it with the milling patterns and the emitters and the colors and all of that stuff. We went like really hardcore on it. But I'm just saying like, we're familiar with this design. We've been doing it for a very long time and the quality, the reliability, all of those things is there, especially with this light. So um, there is the i5T plus guys. Any questions about those, anything like that? Uh, how long does shipping take? So we are shipping day and night around the clock like crazy. You will most likely receive your order from our Virginia warehouse. Um, they're, they're just nonstop shipping. Um, for these flash sales, our shipping team goes into the office at like 8 a.m. And they don't get home until like 10 p.m. All right. Like, like we, we work as long as possible <laughs> while still being, being able to eat food and go to sleep. Um, most people have already received their tracking numbers from the early access. There's people who have already received their orders. If you go to the Facebook group, you'll see people unboxing and showing off their products. They already have this stuff. So... I don't know. I mean, shipping could take maybe a few days. I, you know, we, we try to say, you know, up to like around a week. Um, but it could take a lot less than that. You know, also we're at the mercy of the shipping companies and where you live. Is your post office good or does your post office suck? You know what I mean? There's a lot of factors. So it's really hard to like promise things when we don't own the shipping companies. But I'm telling you, these flashlights are leaving our doors so fast. We've been priding ourselves on getting better at shipping and getting better at customer service. That's really meaningful to us because we understand, like, if we're going to sell people something, they need to get it as fast as possible and they need to enjoy it and be happy with it. Um, so, you know, I can't guarantee how long it will take. All I can say is that we're shipping day and night every single day. And we've been doing that since the sale started for the early access people on Sunday for the diamond people, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, Des Moines post office suck. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of the early access orders to give you like more detail uh, went out same day. So like you placed your order in the morning and then they shipped out that afternoon. A lot of the early access orders, if not all, were shipping out same day. So, I mean, I can't guarantee it, but you could easily see a tracking number the same day that you order. Keep in mind, the sale starts tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, you know, which is somewhat outside of work hours. They're going to be working on other orders, like still more early access stuff. Um, but if you order tonight, I would think you'd probably get a tracking number tomorrow. You know, that's pretty standard for us. If you order at night, you get it tracking the next day. And then once it leaves our warehouse, there's not much we can do, you know. And it also depends on where you live. Like if if we ship from Virginia and you live in California, well, that's going to be different than if you live in West Virginia, right? You know, so there's so many factors to it. All I can say is these, these orders are leaving our door, leaving our warehouse as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, mailmen are the laziest people in the world. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, they're shipping from Virginia. Uh, Kansas post office is on point. Good. That's why I was saying. I'm like, I, I don't know. Like you tell me, is your post office good? It could be. It could be great. You could have the best post office employees that have ever existed, or they could suck, which is what other people are saying. 
Like you look at the comments and people are like, mine's great. Mine sucks. Mine's great. Mine sucks. Like it just depends, you know, there's not really a lot of consistency. Um, yeah. People keep asking where they come from. Uh, so, so it's going to be coming from uh, Virginia. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, guys. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and move on to the S2R Baton 2. So I'm really glad to see that we actually brought this light back. Um, the S2R Baton 2, we haven't released in a pretty long time. I was actually pretty surprised. I was thinking we would do the Warrior Mini 2 um, just because, you know, that's a newer product and we've been pushing that a lot more lately, coming out with more colors of that. It's really cool that we came back to the S2R 2. We realized how excited you guys are about this light and how much you love it, including me. I love the S2R2. It's the perfect size. The run times are great. It's bright enough for 95% of the stuff that I need a flashlight for. And it's super small. I mean, you can't even see it in my fist. Like the light pretty much disappears in my hand, you know? which is amazing for a flashlight that uses an 18650 battery because typically 18650s make the flashlights pretty large, right? This is the smallest 18650 battery flashlight that I've ever seen. Like the whole flashlight is just the battery. Like from here to here is the battery, which means that the flashlight itself <laughs> is like this long. And we, were ma we managed to stuff a PCB board in there, LED and optic and all of that good stuff in an area that is, I don't know, half an inch. Like, I don't know how it's possible to make an 18650 battery flashlight smaller than the S2R2. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, just look, look how small this flashlight is. Like from here to here's the battery. So like all the electronic components, LED, all that good stuff is, and the switch is just like from here to here. And that is just remarkable to me. You've got this really beautiful milling right here. We really nail it on these S2R2s. Look how gorgeous that is. When it hits the light, it almost kind of plays with the eyes, right? It's kind of like an illusion type look. And then you, of course you have the magnetic charging on the back with the magnet. It also has a lanyard hole right here, which is great to see on such a small product. And then when you're carrying it in your pocket, there's only a tiny bit that's actually going to be showing past the bottom of the clip right there. And it still has the dual direction clip so you can carry it, you know, in different ways. And then the switch right here, it's got the black bezel going around the silicone switch right there. And then you can see this little dot here and that is going to be your lockout indicator and your low battery indicator because this has the three stage indicator. So it's uh, green when it's fully charged. It's gonna be like a yellowish color when it's uh, halfway. And then when your flashlight's gonna die soon, it will be red. And then when your flashlight is locked out, it will also be red. You know, okay. Just a heads up guys, uh, for the people on Instagram who are confused, I am showing this live video to Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at the same time. When I'm showing the products and you guys can't see it, it's because I'm showing it on a different camera to our YouTube and Facebook subscribers, okay? So yeah, I apologize. Um, you know, unfortunately we can't use all of the really cool live video functionality on Instagram. If you guys wanna actually see all the things that I'm doing, so it doesn't look weird to you guys, feel free to tune in to Olight World on YouTube where you guys can get the full live experience, okay? Um, cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Will there be a black O bag in the future? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. All right. Any other questions about the S2R Baton 2, guys? Anything? Any other questions, guys, about this green S2R Baton 2? Uh, Brett, it's one of my favorites. That's awesome. 
good to see. Good to see. Yeah, S two R two is really cool light, guys. Um, we've made it in titanium. That's by far my favorite. If you guys know me, um, I'm a huge fan of titanium products. Uh, when I went out to Austin for that event, I was full tie. I brought a tie Open Pro, uh, tie Warrior Mini Two. Uh, the O pry, and then I also brought the IXV as well. So I was like full B blasted tie while I was there, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and I was able to show it to a lot of people as well. So it was pretty cool. Um, all right, so there we go. So S2 Arbiton 2 in the bright lime green color with the black accents. These are discounted during the sale. And we do have two versions. We have it in cool white and neutral white. We do not have the warm white. For the S2R2, that's only for the i5T Plus. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get that warm white color, you'd have to go with one of the versions of the i5T Plus. Okay. So there is that. Up next, we have the Balder SBL. So this is the blue laser version. And with all of these lights, it might be a little bit hard to see. I think on Instagram, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but you can see it. I can see it on my screen on YouTube. So there it is. Uh, the dot is right there. If you can see it there above my finger. So anyway, so it is kind of a, like a royal blue, almost like fading into purple type dot. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, I think it's very easy to see with the eye. Um, in terms of like the way that it looks like the spectrum, I would say that the red is going to be the most difficult to see. The blue is kind of in the middle and then the green is going to be the brightest to your eyes. Okay. But if you're not feeling the green, if green's not for you, then I would suggest going with the blue because I do see the blue when it's pitch black a little bit better than the red. Um, I think it's a really cool thing that we're doing. I'm glad to see that we're doing something new with the Balder S platform. If you guys have seen our marketing recently, we've been really pushing the Balder Minis because those have been just so popular for us. Um, but I'm glad to see that we use the Balder S platform for the blue uh, laser version instead of the Balder Mini because the Balder S has 800 lumens compared to the 600. It does have better run times because it does have a bigger battery pack in here. Um, and the mounting system is really nice on this as well. We've done a lot to improve our mounting system to make sure it's going to be solid on your rail. I mean, there is like no movement. Yeah, this thing's great. Okay, so the Balder SBL, the first time we've ever done a blue laser light ever. And it's the first time that the Balder SBL is actually available for you guys to purchase. Um, of course, these are discounted during the sale. Um, so if you want to get like a sweet light laser combo for your concealed carry um, or for home defense, if you have, you know, a nightstand gun or anything like that, um, you know, this is a great option for you guys. And the cool thing is it's bright enough to use it at home because it's 800 lumens. That's that's legit. But also it's small enough to where you can take it with you and do concealed carry. And also you guys saw saw me do it right there. So this has two modes. So there's a 100 lumen setting in case the 800 lumens is too bright for the setting that you're in. And then you can double tap and that'll take you back up to the 800 lumens. So it's got two lumen settings and you can choose between light only, light laser, and then laser only. Okay. So there's two LED configurations and then three actual configurations of the way that it's on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, Mike is acting up on YouTube. Uh, no, no. Great question. Great question, Rocky. Um, so the, the Compact Balder series does not have strobe mode. If you want to do strobe, you'd have to go with something like the PL Pro. Or we also have the Balder Pro, which is definitely a larger light. But if you want to have a light that has light and laser and strobe, then you'd want to go with the Balder Pro. Just keep in mind, it is a lot more light, um, you know, to have on your gun, especially for a concealed carry. Like I personally wouldn't carry a Balder Pro appendix style because it's just drastically making the overall profile of your gun larger, you know. But 
Um, for home defense, something like that, or if you're going to put on a rifle, then it doesn't matter. It, it would be a very compact light in that sense. On a full-sized handgun, the Balder Pro looks great. On a rifle, totally fine. But on a concealed carry, meh, I'd probably rather go with the Balder Mini or the Balder S, especially if you're carrying it inside the waistband. You know? Uh, Mike seems fine here. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Uh, I wish the S had strobe. Yeah, that would be cool. I appreciate you guys uh, giving us that recommendation. I'll definitely let them know, like, hey, just a heads up, people were asking about strobe with the Balder S, um, and I'll definitely let the engineers know that. But I appreciate you guys talking about that. Um, yeah, check out the Pro, man. The Pro's a great light. We've uh, we've sold it for, for a while, um, and people are really happy with it. We, we get really good feedback with the Pro. Um, you know, again, if you're not inside the waistband, conceal carrying, the Balder Pro is great. Like, why wouldn't you use it? You know, like larger flashlights are more powerful and they have better run times. The problem is, is that when you want to take a larger flashlight with you, that's when it gets dicey. And that's when you start realizing like, well, dang it, man, it's kind of annoying carrying this every day because it's so big and heavy. But if you're not going to carry it every day, if it's something for the house, anything like that, then get the biggest light you can, you know? Uh, I think the Balder Pro BL with the Stardust color would be sick. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's a nice comment. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that would be awesome. I hope we do the BL in different versions. Um, you know, not to take away from this Balder S, but, you know, to do a Balder Mini version would be cool. Um, you know, specifically for the people who might have Balder Mini holsters and they want to get a different version of the Balder Mini, that makes sense to me. Um, so I think it would be cool for us to do Balder Mini and the Balder Pro, all, uh, you know, blue laser versions would be cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, I appreciate that, King Yang. Um, he said, uh, you know, buying Olight is buy, is like buying nip, nip picks. He said, uh, you pay a premium, but you don't know quality until you feel it in your hands. Exactly. Um, you know, I, I do my best to, to try and explain like the size of these products, the performance, the way they feel. Um, but you really aren't going to know until you get them in your hands. Luckily, we do have a 30 day return policy on our website. So if you happen to get one of these products, and you're like, you know what? I hate this thing. Then you can just send it back to us. Like you're, you don't need to worry about risk when you're like ordering new products from our website. Like it's, it's fine. Like if you get it and you don't like it or whatever, it's just like ordering shoes online. No company is going to tell you, well, you have to keep those shoes that are in the wrong size. You can't give them back. That's it. Like, no, you know, like we understand like, you know, with that, we're an online company and that you can't check out things in real life. So if you get something and it ends up not fitting your needs, that's okay. You can send it back to us. We have another, what, 50 models that you guys can pick from in all different shapes, sizes, performance, colors, all the kinds of things. That's why we offer so many different products because we want to give you guys variety. We feel that it doesn't matter what kind of flashlight you need, that if you go to our website, you will find something that will work for you. And that's kind of our goal. We don't want you to leave our website saying, ah, you know, they just didn't really have what I wanted. I'm probably going to check out a different brand. Like, we really don't want you to do that. We want you to at least find something on our website that you guys like. I think these i5T pluses, like, everybody who gets them, I think, is going to really like them. Like, the quality's there. They're very slender. You're not really going to feel them in the pocket. I mean, I just put this one in my pocket. And, I mean, it's, Yeah. Like it's super lightweight, slender. It's not going to take up a lot of room in your pocket. And it's not too long to where it's going to be like pushing up against the bottom of your pocket. Like it's just that right length um, to where it's going to go all the way down into your pocket and it's going to be okay. If you're a woman, then yes, this is probably too long for your pockets. But if you're a woman, you probably don't carry a flashlight in your pocket anyways. You probably carry it in a bag or something like that. 
But for just a regular dude like me wearing, you know, jeans or shorts or whatever, this is not too long to carry in your pocket. It'll come down and I don't know, the bottom of your pocket might be like around here. So I haven't had a problem carrying these and really any of the pants that I've been wearing lately. Have that be jeans, uh, even shorts. The other day it was really hot. The, um, the torture test video, I was wearing uh, shorts and it was fine. And then today I'm wearing these kind of like canvas pants and it's fine again. So I don't think you guys will have any issues carrying these i5T pluses, you know. Purple laser on a Balder Pro R, man, that would be really cool. You know, this one almost kind of looks purple, you know. Um, it just kind of reminds me of that like purplish look because it's, it's like a very royal blue. So it's not a light blue or a teal or anything like that. It's very much a kind of purplish royal blue, if that makes sense. And I'm sure you guys have seen that, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it's like, you, it's like UV. You're totally right. I mean, it's not UV, but it's like it. Yeah. It's that rich kind of dark purplish blue. You know, that's the best way I can explain it. So, um, so that's the sale guys. So we have the i5T plus in orange, blue, OD green, and black. And each one of those colors, we have the two milling patterns where you can choose between the twist and the pebble. And then for each milling pattern and each color, there are the three emitters, which is the cool white, which is just that straight standard white looking beam. And then we have the neutral white, which is more of a yellowish tint. And then of course we have the warm white, which is that orangish tint which some people really like. It's really easy to see things with those warmer tents. If you notice a super bright, cool white light, if you shine it at something that's close to you, it'll actually make that invisible. Take one of your cool white flashlights, turn it on turbo and shine it at your shoe. It is so bright that it will make your shoe disappear. You won't even be able to see your shoe anymore. So the reason why people like the neutral white tent, the warm white tent, is because it doesn't do that with those darker tents. You're able to still see all of the details of whatever you're looking at, and it's not washing it out with that cool white beam. Now, of course, I'm a big fan of the cool white beams, especially if you're looking at something far away because they are the most powerful. But if you're looking at something close up and you want it to be bright, then get the neutral white beam so then you're not washing out what you're looking at. Does that make sense? Uh, CRI, let me get that for you guys. Let me get that for you. There's a whole lot of data that like, I still need to get from the engineers on these. Um, you know, I'm just explaining kind of my experience using these different tents. Um, and that's why I shined it on the wall as well. Um, which should be a pretty good depiction of like what it looks like. Uh, I think the camera picked it up pretty well. Um, if you want to get more details, like get real technical with it, um, I can work on, you know, getting all of those details for you guys. I'm happy to do that. Um, you know, just let me know. Just let me know. You can send me an email, just Sean at olightstore.com, S-E-A-N at olightstore.com. Um, and just let me know, you know, if there's something that you want to know about these flashlights and I'll figure it out for you, okay? I'm not an engineer. I'm just a flashlight fan who's been, you know, seeing the evolution of LEDs, um, seeing the evolution of, you know, flashlight technology. And, you know, I've worked here for seven years. So I've seen a lot of different things that we've done, a lot of changes that we've made with the technology. Um, you know, so that's kind of like where I come from with it. But I know some things. Uh, my wife is a warm white uh, light fan while I'm on Team Cool White. That's cool. Right on. Awesome. Um, yeah, so the sale is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that's why if I go live on a Thursday, it's because we have a sale starting that night. So typically if I'm live on a Thursday, it's like a celebration because like we're about to sell brand new stuff that nobody has yet, you know, and that's always very exciting. Um, and I think this is really cool, you know, for us flashlight nerds, like, yeah, we want to see the neutral white. Yeah, we want to see the warm white. 
So for the true like flashlight enthusiasts out there, I feel like this is a really special sale because most of the products that we come out with, as you know, traditionally we make our products in cool white because we want them to be the brightest possible because that's what people want. Anytime I show someone a flashlight, the first thing they say is, well, how bright is it? They just want to know, is it bright? That's all they care about. The brighter, the better. That's it. And that's the majority of flashlight customers. But we also understand that we have this huge enthusiast market that's a part of the Olight community. And so that's why we're doing the neutral white. That's why we're doing the warm white. But for the people who are like, I don't care about all that crap. I just want the brightest flashlight, that cool white. Perfect. We have that as well. You know, so it's a tent to meet anyone's needs in four major flashlight colors with two different milling patterns. So it seemed crazy at first when we were doing it. I was like 24 different versions of a flashlight. Like what? But when you break it down like that, it's actually not that wild, you know? And when you're on the website, uh, you know what? Let me, let me show you the website. Let me, please tell me if for some reason the audio is messed up. Is the audio messed up guys? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the website, okay? Uh, audio is clear. All right, good, 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 good. Um, I know one time I showed the website and the audio got all messed up, so um, here we go. So as I said, they're all around 30 bucks, so 31.96 each. Free shipping on our website is for orders $49 or more. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can't order one of these flashlights and get free shipping, which I don't know why you would would only order one, you know, unless you're tied on funds. I totally understand that. If you can only purchase one for, for a money situation, that's totally different. But like if you have the money and you can buy more than one, I would suggest buying more than one so you can get that order total up so you get the free shipping. And then you can also enjoy different versions of this flashlight. You know, do you want to get a, a cool white and a neutral white one to try it out? Or do you only want cool white? And then you can get the two different milling patterns for the color that you like. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, when you are ordering, all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. Here's all this information about run times, all that good stuff. But the way that you're going to find your flashlight, find the one that you want, is you have all these little boxes. Okay. And when I click on the box, it'll actually change the color on the main picture here as well. So you know that you're not making a mistake. So when you click that add to cart button, make sure that the picture is the one that you want, right? So as I click here, so here is the actual physical color of the flashlight. So let's go with blue. Now keep in mind, this is the twist listing. And then there's also a separate pebble listing. So I want to get a blue twist and neutral white. And then all you do is you click your color, you click your color temperature that you want. So we have WW, NW, CW, and then you just click add to cart. And now that product is in my cart. If I go back to the website, I can also go over to that exact same thing, but it's with the pebble. Cause you see, it says pebble right there. I don't want you guys to get confused. I, I'm not talking rocket science. I know I'm talking very basic level, but like I want to make sure that you guys don't accidentally order the wrong product and say, oh crap, I didn't mean to order the Pebble. I wanted the Twist version. Like I don't want you guys to be in that situation. So there's two listings. There's the Twist and the Pebble. And then within each listing, you can pick your color and your uh, color temperature. So again, black, blue, orange, OD green, warm white, neutral white, cool white. So I'll get an OD green pebble here in cool white. Add to cart, boom, it's in my cart, right? So that's how you guys are going to purchase these, uh, you know, either now if you have early access or starting tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Keep in mind, we are in the Eastern time zone here at Olight. So if you are in a different time zone than that, then the sale might start at a different time. 
Also, I want to show you guys, so we have the green S2 Arbiton 2. We do have the bundle here. Um, so there's, there's a few different options. So there's the bundle. If you would like to get that, that's a really good deal. 80 bucks for both of those. That's nice. We also have bundles where you can actually get two of these together um, with the i5T pluses, like what I was saying. And this is even a better discount because it's only $55. And keep in mind, that's above 49. So if you pick up this bundle, you're getting free shipping regardless. We also have uh, you know, a bundle here if you want to get the i5T or plus with the Balder S. And then we have the bundle here as well with the S2 Arbiton 2 if you want to pick both of those up. Um, let's see here. We have a really cool bundle here, um, like a little EDC combo pack. So like if you're just getting into EDC, maybe you don't, you know, have a knife or a flashlight and things like that that you want. Well, this is a really badass little, little combo here. You're getting, uh, the little case that you'll be able to store everything in. You're going to S2 R2, you know, one of the best EDC lights in the game. You're getting the, uh, Beagle, which is a fantastic knife. Then you're getting the i5T plus, and then also a swivel work light. And then with this, you'll also be able to get a free keychain light as well with that free tier. So I mean, if you know, if you're trying to get somebody into EDC or something like that, I mean, we perfectly curated this little bundle here to really just get you going and get you taken care of in terms of all aspects of like daily carry and lights and all that stuff. So Really cool bundle right there. Anyways, that was boring. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to show you the website and what it's going to look like. I don't want you guys to be like super surprised or be like, what's going on when you go to the website later? Um, so that way, you know what's going on. You know about the flashlights. You know how the website works. You know how to pick out these lights when the sale starts. And that's pretty much it, right? So the i5T Plus, S2 Arbiton 2, and the Balder SBL. Okay. Um, oh, I keeps raising the bar. I appreciate that, man. Got my i5T plus yesterday. It's awesome. I love it. Awesome. Thank you, Don. I think you guys are really going to love these lights. The fact that you can get this for $32, I think is incredible. Considering what I was able to do to this one in the torture test, a product of this quality, and not only the quality, but you can customize it. Like you can pick your own. There's 24 different versions that you can pick from. There's there's an i5T plus for everyone. You know? So I think it's a really great sale, guys. Um, I, I, I'd pick it up. I mean, 32 bucks. I mean, I, I think it's a no-brainer, you know? Now, for the people who want to pick up all of them, for the enthusiasts, that's amazing. Thank you so much. But like, if you're only going to pick up a couple of them, like, I, I still think there's at least two to three versions that everybody's going to like, you know? Um, cool. All right. Uh, for the run times, um, so the run times, you'll, you'll, you can just take the, check out the technical details on the listing on our website. Um, I typically don't go over all of like the technical specs when I'm doing these live videos, just because that's kind of boring. But all of that information is on our website. So olightstore.com is the website. I just showed you the listings. And if you scroll down a little bit past the add to cart button, you're going to start seeing all this information about our products. And it's not only for the i5T Plus, but it's for every flashlight that's on our website, which I really like. Um, you know, we talk about the materials, the run times, uh, the accessories that it comes with, the dimensions, which is really important when you're picking a pocket flashlight. You want to make sure that it's something that you want to actually have in your pocket on a daily basis. You know, that's the worst feeling when you purchase a pocket knife or you purchase a flashlight and then you're like, oh, wow, this is cool. The performance is great. It looks cool. And then you start carrying it and you're like, I don't like carrying this. And then you're just kind of bummed out. So I think the dimensions are very important when it comes to an everyday carry light because it's in your pocket. It's with you at all times, you know? Uh, send me the torture test one. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever I do these torture tests, all right, we're, we're going to move on to, the, to the giveaway here soon. So uh, last thing I'll say, whenever I do the, uh, whenever I do, let's see. 
Uh, are we good on the live video, guys? Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good on Facebook. Um, whenever I do these torture tests, I get all kinds of people asking, like, can I get that tortured light? Can I get that tortured light? From a liability standpoint, we can't send our customers damaged products, you know? Um, obviously, the light works fine. I think it's totally fine. Um, but, you know, from a liability standpoint, we don't want to send someone something that's messed up. I mean, just this hole that I drilled, it has very sharp edges. Like, I could easily cut myself, especially with this front bezel, too. You know, this isn't really the safest thing in the world, <laughs> to be honest with you. But um, I appreciate the enthusiasm, and it is a very cool. I actually like it being all messed up like this. It's pretty badass. So, <laughs> anyways. Let's move on to a giveaway, guys. Let's move on to a giveaway. So uh, basically what we're going to do is like what we did last time in order to keep it completely fair. Um, it doesn't matter how much you know about flashlights. None of that stuff matters. It's going to be a complete guessing game. So what I'm going to do is with uh, we're going to do it like last time. On Instagram, you're going to go first, and I'm going to have you guys pick a number between 1 and 50. It's going to be the number that's in my head. And whoever picks that number first, you win. I'm going to go to YouTube. You guys are going to pick a number between 50 and 100. Again, just going to be whatever number's in my head and whoever puts it first in the comment section. And then we're going to move on to Facebook. And for you guys, it's going to be 100 to 150. All right. So let's go ahead and get some readies in the comment section of Instagram. And we'll go ahead and start this. We're doing a giveaway, so I'm bringing out the bongos. I have not had enough coffee today. Honestly, I think I'm still kind of tired from the trip. Also, the climate of Texas is very different. It's very uh, hot and humid. Um, and when I go to places that are hot and humid, it kind of messes me up. I went to Florida recently as well, and I came back and I was all kind of messed up too. That hot and humid weather just really kind of messes me up, especially with the weather changing where it's kind of becoming warm outside now. We're leaving winter. We're leaving that cold weather. So like my whole sinus and runny nose situation is like a total mess, uh, which is pretty annoying, honestly. But hey, that's what we get for being human. We're allergic to our own planet. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is your question. Instagram, we are going to start the bidding in five, four, three, two, one. So we are going to start at RVL8, and we will go from there. I've got the number in my head. Whoever guesses this number first, you win. Okay. All right. I am just waiting here, guys. Bear with me, YouTube and Facebook. I am just trying to get the right answer here so I can give away a flashlight. All right, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. You guys have been really close. Keep guessing, guys. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Come on, Instagram. Pick a number between 1 and 50. A couple of you guys got crazy close, like one number away close. Uh, come on. Oh my God, so close. Uh, one to one, uh, sorry, one to 50. Pick a number between one and 50. It's gotta be between one and 50. Mmm, so close, guys. So close. A few of the answers have been one number away from the right answer. No. Yes. Perfect. All right, Mick, you win, brother. It is 22. That was the right answer. Right at the beginning, people were picking 23, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, but it was 22. So, Mick, you win. Please send me an email to Sean, S-E-A-N, at olightstore.com, okay? Send me um, your address, wherever you want it to be shipped, and I will set it up, all right? 
Um, so that's where we are with that. All right, Mick? Cool. Okay. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for watching Instagram. I will be going live tomorrow. Keep in mind, guys, also, I have to mention this. Um, I have to go off of my screen. I do not play favorites. Anyone can win. It doesn't matter who wins. So there's no reason for me to like pick the wrong person. I literally just pick whoever I see with the first answer correct on my screen. Okay. If it appears differently on your screen, I do apologize. There's lag and latency and all that kind of stuff. Um, but just keep in mind, we are going live tomorrow at 1230 as well, where I'll be giving away more flashlights. Okay. I appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you later. Instagram. Peace. Okay. All right. There's that. Cool. Okay, so now we are on YouTube. YouTube, we got readies. Now YouTube, you are perfectly right, Kaylin. Absolutely. Uh, in for the main stretch. <laughs> cool. We got ready Freddies and ready Betty's. Cool. All right, here we go. YouTube, five, four, three, two, one. Pick a number between 50 and 100. Let's go. We're starting at Raymond, which picked 100. That is wrong. Please pick 50 to 100. Oh, my gosh. These are coming in so fast. It's so hard to do this on YouTube. Ah. Okay. All right. So we got Raymond with 100. And I'm scrolling until I see the right answer. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. So uh, the winner is Ashley Sue. X Ashley Sue. Uh, you win with 74. Congratulations, Ashley, with 74. Awesome. Cool. Thank you guys for that. That was awesome. All right, Ashley. There you go. There she is. Yay, exclamation points. That's what we like to see when you win, people. That's what we like to see. Um, Ashley, thank you so much for, uh, for participating and winning, picking the right answer, which was 74, by the way. Um, so please, Ashley, send me an email, S-E-A-N, Sean, at olightstore.com, all right? And please let me know what version of the i5T Plus that you want. So, uh, you know, I want an OD green pebble version with neutral white. Like, say something like that, all right? Um, and that way we can set it up for you, okay? James, thank you so much for your support. Please hit the thumbs up button, guys, before you leave. It really shows YouTube, um, you know, that we're uh, that we're a good YouTube channel and we're having fun over here. It's really important to the YouTube platform for those thumbs ups. Um, so if you could smash that thumbs up button before you leave this live video, we really appreciate your support. Hopefully, you guys are really excited about the sale that's starting tonight. Again, it's 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you live in California. It's going to be 5 p.m. If you live in Colorado, it's going to be 6 p.m. If you live in Texas, it's going to be 7 p.m. And if you live on the East Coast like us, it'll be 8 p.m. And I know there's different states, but that should give you a good idea of like the time zone, you know, that it's going to be. All right. Cool. Uh, great stream, Sean. Thank you, PC Phil. I really appreciate it, man. It's really hard to talk about, you know, like 30 different flashlights in one live video, um, you know, especially when you're on the spot like this. But I think we did it. I think we got through it. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 1230 Eastern time again. And, uh, yeah, good luck with the sale tonight. All right. Peace, YouTube. Okay, there's YouTube.